podcast. Check. All Check. right. Are you checking, Frankie? I just I just hit record. <laughs> it's official. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Welcome to Lucky Thirteen Podcast. I'm Jeff. I'm Melody. Frankie. And Frankie's here for <laughs> the news roll, roll later call. on. Yes. Um, we're on the stage today. Yeah, we are on the stage today. It's very strange. I'm mm-hmm. very hungover today. That's Jeff's very hungover and chugging beers right now. Yes, right I right now. <laughs> Four p.m. I have to drink beers to get through this. Yeah. It's it was a long night. It happens. It was good though. I went to the Candaria listening party last night at Pink's in the city, um, and they had like a little documentary beforehand, and uh, they listened to us. We were listening to some of the album. And it was, it was, it was, how, really was the, cool. how was the documentary? I couldn't, I couldn't make it for that. It was cool. It was cool. It was like 15 minutes just kind of talking about, um, you know, what the band's doing now and, you know, what happened to Ken, the drummer. And, right. um, it, it, and it was, it was, Frank put that together. Frank got Yeah, right? Frank put it together. Yeah. And, uh, Frank was there and, um, Vincent Castiglia was there and it was all like, it was Brian Sow was there. There was a lot of cool people there. It was, it was a lot of fun. Cool. Um, I got me and Kelsey got way too drunk, way Apparently. too fast. That's why you, you look like a maniac today. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, and it, it got really crowded, and then we were like, you know, we listened to about half the album, and then I was like, I'll buy the album. I gotta go. <laughs> like, yeah, that was the thing to do. It, it, yeah, it was getting. Did uh, you listen to it at home? I haven't listened to. The, no, no, no. I didn't buy the album there, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy oh, the album. I, I will buy the album. Did you, what but, time did you wake up today? <laughs> I woke up actually at eight thirty this morning because oh, I had to get up early. Yeah. But we had some rounds to make last night. Like Allison was working a double down, so I had to stop over there and say hello because we were in the neighborhood. And Danny Diablo was doing an art thing at Karma, so I had to pop in over there real quick. And I actually got home fairly early, but uh, yeah, I was really drunk, and I think I was still buzzed when I woke up at eight thirty yeah, this morning. You, you definitely were because yeah. you look like you just got hit with your hangover. <laughs> <laughs> I got hit with the hangover I hate a while when that ago. Happens. I got hit with the you hangover get up a while ago. And you're kind of dizzy, and then you realize that it's because you're still drunk. Yeah, it was yeah. weird. It was fun though. I had a good night. I had a crazy sex dream about you last night. It was kind of about creepy. me. Yeah, me and Kelsey had sex with you last night. It was totally weird. And Rob the plumber was standing outside the window. <laughs> Ooh, that's the creepiest part. I thought, uh, I thought it was creepy one that yeah. you had a sex dream about me. Two that it was a sex dream about me with Kelsey, and then you had to blow it over the top yeah. with the Rob the plumber. Yeah, yeah. Rob, Rob the plumber I was just hanging out. Chills. <laughs> <laughs> They're multiplying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it totally did. It was fucking weird. I woke up this morning feeling dirty. <laughs> in a good way. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, in a good way. I woke up in a fucking little chubby this morning. It was weird. Oh, it was let's, weird. Let's move on. It was creepy. Yeah. So, you didn't have sex with Rob the plumber, though. No, I didn't. Okay. He was sta- it was okay. weird. We were like on the second floor, and he's like standing outside, like Is pretending not to look. No, he was like depend- Like he was looking up in the window, and he was like pretending not to look in. It was fucking awkward. It was really weird. You're a strange. It man. felt very incestuous. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. It is. Yeah, it was weird. Um, so you want to talk about what happened here the weekend over the weekend? Well, it was a long weekend over here. I was here every night it over was the a weekend. Long weekend. I, I'm. Don't I'm you, uh, were you? I was here Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Why do I not remember you being here all night? Because you, you got fucking night. wasted. <laughs> no. no, Friday night. I worked the door on Friday night. Oh, you were outside. We That's had why. we had Warrior Soul yeah, on Friday Warrior night. Soul, which went on fucking forever. I was late. I went Too on late. Really late. Yeah, it did. It, Too didn't, late. it didn't get done until like 2.33 in the morning. So if you're going to write a, a fucking Yelp review about us and complain about what time the bands go on, that is not under our control, unfortunately. What time the promoters started the show was way later than we were originally told. Yeah. And that's not really, that's not really, I had no idea it was going to go on that late. Yeah, there so. was, I mean, the bands didn't show up till almost nine o'clock, yeah, so, so it was, like it was, not, uh, I mean, those are, that's the band's fault, that's not, uh, it was cool though, all the bands were good, that Metal Fire, he's a character, and uh, Honor Among Thieves was really good, I liked those guys, a uh, very Stone Temple Pilot, they were the only ones that weren't really super metal, they were kind of Stone Temple Pilots kind of style, they were, they were really good, it was, um, they were a little more along the rock lines, um. Yeah. It was cool. And then, and then and then Warrior Soul played some fucking classic metal. Way late. Yeah, way late. Way late. And uh he uh he complained a little bit. <laughs> that was so late? No, he was like at one point he was like uh he's like, I'm not playing anymore until I get two hundred dollars from the door. <laughs> and all of a sudden so a friend of ours went up to the stage and threw hundred and forty dollars on the stage. Shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, Chris did that. And so he's like uh He's like, all right, maybe we'll play some more. <laughs> so they played like two that more is songs. Fucking amazing. Yeah, it was fucking weird. Embarrassing though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was weird. 
And uh, it was fun, but though. But they didn't have as big of a turnout as I expected. No, well, because they were playing, like, three shows. They played they played Blackthorn the next night. They were opening up for Sebastian Bach the next night at Blackthorn. Yeah. And then I think they were playing somewhere else on Sunday. So it was, you know, um, I could see why not a lot of people came out because they yeah. were going to see him. And I heard they played it at... Um, at Blackthorn not long ago and headlined it and not a lot of people showed up. So, I don't know. A lot of people not into yeah. Warrior Soul these days, I guess. It's not. I don't know. Oh, well. Saturday we had an awesome kind of proggy show. Do, do those bands, that big fucking pig. big, 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 big pig, big pig, awesome. big, that, they were fucking great. Yeah, they were good. It was I interesting. The, all those bands were, were good. Yeah, it was interesting. And we had, you know, Dead Empires, I love those guys. And then there was another band with, uh, it was just a bass player. And a, and a drummer, and the bass player added some like keyboards on top of it, and he did this like it was. It, I don't even remember the names of the bands. Um, Big Pig was I remember Bang that one. Deffy is that what it was? Bands? That might have been that. All right. I, I didn't get to look back here to see what what was the visual, so I'm not sure right. which band. They were all really good. They were. It was a good night. Yeah, it was fun. Thanks, um, DJ from uh, from Dead Empires for putting that together. Yeah, that was fun. And then Sunday we had. Uh, Got a, got a Christ. Got a Christ. Put that death metal Thanatology. show on here, and, and corpse hoarder, and um, I'm burping into the microphone. Yeah, you are. Um, it was great. That that Thanatology yeah. was fucking awesome. The singer is an it, actual doctor in Tijuana, Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. I know you said you could probably be a doctor in Tijuana, Mexico. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they had scrubs, but you like, know. You know, they would, but they, I mean, they, but what was funny because I spoke to those guys too. And, you know, most of the time you speak to people from Mexico, they have a thick accent. Yeah. There was no accent. They were like very intelligent. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, they were so excited to be here. And oh, it was so, they were playing in, in America on the East Coast. And they blew me away. And yeah. it was really funny though. I bought a, I bought a, I bought a t shirt and then, uh, I didn't realize that it said something in Spanish on the back. And my Spanish is kitchen Spanish. I know, uh, you know, some onions and, you know, fucking <laughs> autos con pollo and see, you know. <laughs> so it said something on Spanish on the back, and I'm like, oh, shit, I didn't even realize it. I like the front of the shirt. So I had to go figure out what it said in Spanish on the back. Uh, the about. right hand, uh, the right arm of death. Okay, great. I knew it was it's my own than more dumb th- gringo wearing t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that could have been that. Uh, could have been that. Yeah, it could have been that. This was a curse, you know, the only like Spanish people looking at me like, hey. Yeah. yeah. No. So no. Um, we have, if you happen to listen to this t- today, we have a huge stack of tickets for, speaking of hair metal, for the <laughs> Bullet Boys um, at Webster free Hall. at yep. Webster Hall tomorrow night. And we have a huge stack of them. So if you want to stop by anytime today or tomorrow, you can pick up as many tickets as you want at a fucking party and go see the Bullet Boys at Webster yeah. Hall. Totally <laughs> free. You don't even have to buy a drink. We're just giving them away. Yeah, we have a stack of tickets so to come see the on Bullet down. Boys. And then tonight, there's a, a show happening. I don't know who put this show together, but... Um, it's I, a black metal show, right? The Conqueror Worm is Doom. Actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know who... I don't Who put this show together? I think John Paul put it together. Oh. And then the other... I don't band, know who the promoter is. Tower. I can't even... T-A-O-R-R-H, which is the member of Thorat's new project. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, I can't pronounce any of this shit. I don't know who these people are, but it looks like some people are coming. Um, so it's the Conqueror Worm from Milwaukee and, and Tower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going on tonight. Yeah, that's going on Was tonight. it 10 bucks? I don't know. Yeah, I, it's, I think it's 10 bucks. Probably. Cool. Yeah, said. that's going on tonight. And then there's nothing Friday, Saturday, no, unfortunately, I guess. A, yeah, we have a free weekend of come hang out and drink. And some people prefer that, though. I have people that. Ask me if there's a show, and they don't come if there's a show. They only yeah. come if there's not a show. So those of you that love when it's just hanging out and you know drinking and not listening to bands that you might not like, uh, yeah. this weekend is for that. But then we have an awesome signature riff show on Sunday, which is Imperial Triumphant. So you gotta come see Imperial Triumphant because that's gonna be awesome. great. And then they're gonna be they're gonna be film. Oh shit! I forgot tomorrow. I gotta uh, pre. Uh, I got a pre interview here tomorrow. I totally forgot. I gotta be here tomorrow. There's a, so they're coming to film some show for Viceland here tomorrow, which is going to be interesting. I mean, on Sunday, they're coming to film it. Right, um, right. So they're coming for, to film. Yeah, some paranormal show. Paranormal so. show. So that'll be happening on Sunday. But uh, Skull Seer is playing, uh, Thoreau, and uh, Luminous Vault, as well as Imperial Triumphant on Sunday night. So Sunday night's going to be a really good show. 8 p.m., yeah, that's going to be a good one. And uh, I would definitely 
definitely recommend that. We like to we like to uh, support the riff and Vinny. So come on down Sunday. That's uh, seven bucks. They lowered the price. Oh yeah, seven bucks. Oh, that's cool. That's really good. It looks like there's a lot of people coming. It says on yeah. the uh, invite. So Vinny always gets a good crowd in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. So cool. that's all that. And. <clears throat> Burlesque is Monday night. Is it? Is it yeah, there's a burlesque on Monday I didn't night. Even see that. Yeah, that's going on is on that, Monday. That's the second Monday of the month. Yeah, it's right? the second okay. Monday of the month. So it's the second, and yes. this Monday is the second of the month. Okay. So that's going on on Monday. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. And then, uh, I, don't know what I day think, it is. yeah, no, I believe me. I'm, fucking, <laughs> I'm trying to fucking muscle through myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um,. What else? Anything else happening? Oh, I was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess we should do the news. Yeah. All right. We got some fucking metal news coming out with Frankie. Um, Frankie, what what stories you got this week? Tell, tell. We got to read the metal injection news. I spoke. So I spoke to Frank last night too. Oh, you did. And I was, I was telling to him. Send him a link, and I fucked up. So. so this week, whatever Sorry, you can send Frank, him the link. I'll send, I'll send you the shit. And uh, but yeah, yeah, he said he was uh, he was checking out. I tell him we got Frankie reading the news every week from, and he's like, great, that's what it's for. So yeah. that's exciting. Cool. I'm Frankie. This is your heavy metal news for the week, presented by Metal Injection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, we need like a little theme song. <laughs> Vog from Burns and Records, ten minute video slamming Mayhem's bars from Burns the man he murdered twenty years ago. Okay. He pronounced Euronymous. Wow. He did. He pronounced Euronymous. You can't even pronounce Euronymous. <laughs> I, I just thought it was Uranus. Um, what did, what I actually watched the video. So he, what, is he ranting about it? Yeah, yeah he's, he's ranting about it. And he's fucking bashing him. He's he just claims like, it was self-defense, but that's insane. He's stared him like eight million times. Yeah, he well, also he shows was, no remorse from Rhythm his friend Euronymous. He stared him 23 times. See? That's a lot for self-defense. Yeah. Don't you think Twice maybe that's a lot? Yeah, he was fucking angry. Yeah, I don't know. Well, he's still angry. Five he's an times angry man. To the neck. Yeah, how, how many times to the neck? times to the back. Five times to the neck. To the That's back? Sick. How is it self defense if you're standing yeah. somebody in the back over the and back. over? <laughs> yep. There's a problem here. Don't you fight backwards? If no? I stab you in the back 16 times, I'm going to tell them it was self defense. <laughs> That's a good idea. He was backing <laughs> that up works. towards me. I mean, no, that, that, this is. Wow. I fight backwards fucking amazing anyway. Yeah, yeah. some some I'm black belt crouching in, tiger and yeah. dragon I'm, shit going yeah, on. Yeah, I'm black belt and backwards. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. Yeah. So I love Varg and I love Burzum, but uh he's kind of a douche. Yeah, he's kind of a douche. So uh I love his music. I don't and know. there's a lot I of mean, bands. They I were like. I, they were one of the first Norwegian black metal bands ever in the early days. Yeah. This was 1990, 1993 yeah. he killed him, right? Yeah. 92. 92? So yep. ni- 91, I think, is when Burzum formed yeah. originally. And Mayhem, you know. Yeah. And Euronymous was the, the guitar player for Mayhem. Yeah. And he owned that record he, he store. He owned a shop. Yeah, a record yeah. shop. And yeah. his parents Helvet. said, oh, you have to close it. So he did. And like, Ross hated him for that. And he helped him out. He lent, he lent him and gave him money. But, you know, he had a record label. And he was like, you know, promoting Mog. Yeah, he called, I, he's like called right calling him a pussy. I watched the interview; it was pretty crazy. I yeah. read I read somewhere that the record store um, was so black metal that they didn't have light, so you had to have like a flashlight to look through the records, <laughs> like it was like a cave. Yeah, and they didn't want to put light on, and there was a basement where people would just really? like hang I've out. I've never been there, but Fog also bashes Venom, and he calls uh, Euronymous. Euronymous. Sorry, Euronymous, a pussy and an attention whore. Did he really? Yeah, he did. He what did. is wrong with him? He killed this guy. I know. <laughs> no. him. I know. And he burned some churches down, so maybe he's just like hailing Satan all over the place. I don't know. In Germany, you're right. Yeah, yeah, he was just angry. He's, he's an angry. angry guy. Yeah. He married a lovely French woman and moved to France. Oh, yeah, is that yeah. where he's at now? And my husband was like, see, we even let murderers into our, our <laughs> fucked up country. <laughs> he just moved right in, got out of prison and moved to France. <sighs> Yeah, you're right. He goes on to brag about an interview he did with the German press talking about his own church burnings. And then he was uh, arrested and he was saying this. Yeah. The German journalist and the journalist ended up calling the cops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah you got to watch the interview. If you can watch the interview, it's, oh, I will. If, if you go on Metal Injection. Oh, I will. Yeah, watch it. If you go on Metal Injection, uh, they have the full interview is up there. Good. And it's 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 interesting, especially if you know the whole history of Mayhem and, yeah. and Burzum and all yeah, that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. So, 
You should watch it. I definitely yes. will. Let me make he's in, you on a mistake. I'm all over the shit. Ten minute yeah. video. He's in his. He's in like full camo gear, and oh, it's a of couple. Of, it's in a couple different sections too. Like I watched the first. It's like ten minute intervals. So. He's always ranting on his website and stuff. So. Yeah. All right, Frankie. What else you got for us? Gene Simmons is worth more than Dave Gore. Did I pronounce that Dave Grohl. Dave Grohl. Grohl. Axl Rose. We all know James Hetfield and Lars Ulrich. Ulrich. Ulrich? Ulrich or, or Ulrich? Ulrich? Or is it Ulrich? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I give a fuck I'm about sorry. those guys. Yeah, come on. The figures contained in the, um, in the list were acquired from all publicity available. I mean, it's a long list. And this is the last list was in 2012. You can rent off a couple. You can rent off a couple names, Frankie. It was, I was pretty fucking interesting. How much what? some of these guys yeah, are no, worth? They are. How much they're worth? Yeah, mm -hmm. it was all the wor the net worth of, of uh, a lot of these guys. It was pretty interesting. Surprisingly, Ozzy, Oz Ozzy Osbourne is listed at only 220 million, and that's because other people did that new Black Sabbath album. Paul McCartney is still up there at 1.2 billion. Wow. That's psychotic. Right? Yeah. He's like, like a said, fucking hey, prince. I love, I love Paul McCartney. But, wow, look. But what? He's you been, know, you don't like him? He's been knighted. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, he's been like knighted. Is that what it is, right? He's been knighted like a hundred times. And he's royalty. A hundred times? You're kidding me. Well, <laughs> okay, I'm exaggerating. Maybe 95 times. A lot of knighting. Right. Yeah, it's a lot of knighting. Bono, yeah. 700 million. I don't think he's been knighted. Elton oh, John's been knighted. 500 million. Wow. Do they knight the gays? <laughs> um, I don't think they care about, oh, okay. about their gay right. status. I guess. Jimmy yeah. Buffett, five hundred million. Oh God. Mick Jagger's only worth two hundred sixty million. Jimmy Buffett, really? The worst. Cheeseburger hats. Yeah. <laughs> Where were we? In Minnesota, <laughs> Vegas. Yeah, people had birds on their heads and cheeseburgers. Yeah, on their heads. parrot said, heads. The I think they call. What the hell is going on? Yeah. Someone says it's a Jimmy Buffett concert happening. Yeah. It'll just kill me. And we were all like, we were going to like some goth event. Yeah, so we're all like in leather and chains. Yeah. And these guys with birds on their heads. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> what was that guy that event you used to go to every year? What the fuck was Convergence. that? Convergence. Convergence. Yes. yes. Back in the day. Back in the day. All right. What do you got, Frankie? That's it? Ringo Stars, 350 million. Keith Richards, Is Ringo Stars still alive? Million. I didn't even realize mm -hmm. that. Uh, yeah. Him and Paul, the last two Beatles. Yeah. What does Ringo Starr do? Fucking collects a check. Just hangs out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What yeah. would you do if you were Ringo Starr and you had like $7 billion? You yeah, know what I mean? Like $700 yacht. million. I'm sorry. Yeah, he'd be on a yacht somewhere, million. I guess. What is he? $350 million? $350 Okay, he's got $350 million. So that's reasonable. He's still married yeah. to what? Catherine Bach, right? They've been married forever. I have no fucking idea. I don't Frankie. know either. Who the fuck is Frankie knows? Yeah, who's Catherine Bach? Probably some supermodel. Or yes. Frankie wouldn't From know. the 80s. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen the caveman movie? The oh, yeah, I remember the caveman movie. Teenage movies. Yeah. And yes, Gene Simmons is $300 million. You would, think, you would think Gene Simmons too. would be worth more with all that Kiss merchandise. Three hundred million. How much three hundred million dollars is? This, but That's fucking stupid. The same as Bon Jovi, though. I have seven dollars yeah. in my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> you probably have negative seven dollars. I know. You're probably overdrawn. Like what the fuck? Three hundred million. million it says That's Kiss crazy. is also worth three hundred million. Not sure the distinction here between the band and Gene. Or didn't he have a, like a reality show before he got like eight facelifts? I yes. love Kiss. I grew up with Kiss. He's he's been been on on a reality show. Yeah, with his wife. Uh -huh. His wife is smoking hot. What's her name? I have no idea. What's his wife's name, Frankie? I don't know. She was that model. Yeah. Yes, 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 right. I watched the fucking reality show oh, for her. I did, I did, you I did. Love I did. Those things. I was, uh, some of them, some of them. You love those things. Some of them. I was on a reality show kick for him, and I watched that Brett Michaels fucking yeah, one. That was yeah. hilarious. That was hilarious. What was that yeah. called? Rock of Love. Oh, my God. I watched the first season. I didn't yeah. watch the second I actually one. did, too. Did we watch that together? I think we did, yeah. yeah that makes sense. Yeah. Because I'm like, why the hell would I be watching this? <laughs> Unless you were watching it and I was there. <laughs> Otherwise, that never would have happened. Yeah. It's like, who doesn't have a reality show, really? Everybody. Yeah, these days, it's... Uh, yeah. Get an iPod. <laughs> Frankie, you, you should have a fucking... Show. Frankie, you should have a reality show, really. Shannon Tweed? Shannon Tweed, that's there you go, it. that's it. Yes. I don't know, I've never heard of her. No? No. Shannon fucking suck my dick is what I'd oh, fucking call her. Oh, shit. Whoa. Whoa. And then maybe Rob the plumber will watch. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Robbie. Oh, no. 
Uh, That's a hilarious. funny DJ. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was weird. It, it was sounds really weird. cool to Manon the Twash part, but just the, 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 the Manon. Can you speak Manon? French again, please? Yeah, the Manon the Twash. Wow. That's Manon the Twash. Manon the Twash, sorry. <laughs> Not insulting, no one French. Or Rob the Plumber. That's just pretty creepy. Yeah, it was creepy. It was and creepy. he popped And I got to be honest, and Frankie, listen, the belly, he's a beautiful girl, but it's it's creepy to me to the thought of us having sex. Yeah, because so. we're like relatives now. Yeah, we're pretty mm. much relatives. Yeah. All right, next story. Yeah, what's up? What else you got yeah. going on? Actress Margaret Robbie professes her love for Metallica Slipknot Bullet for My Valentine. Who's Margaret Robbie? She played in Wolf of Wall Street and she's playing Holly Quinn. Oh, yeah, she played the new oh. Harley Quinn. She's the best thing in that movie, Suicide Squad. Did you watch Suicide Squad? I didn't no. watch it. I, you know, I don't see it. I'm not a big, I'm not a big uh, comic book movie guy. I, I'll see it eventually, I'm sure, because I actually do like that stuff. But I don't, yeah. I'm not, I don't like going to the theater. I started watching that Luke Cage on, uh, on Netflix. It's really fucking good. What is it? Luke Cage, you know Luke Cage is. No. I didn't know who Luke Cage is. I'm asking you, like, yeah. he's a he's, Frankie. Frankie, you're the comic book guy, Luke so you Cage, can explain who Luke Cage Power is. Power Man is a black superhero from the '70s, created by George Tusker. He also teams up later on with Danny Rand, who's Iron Fist. This is the only time Frankie ca- sounds intelligent. Right? Right? That was it's amazing. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Very popular characters from the '70s: John Byrne, Gil Kane created Iron Fist, and Iron Fist is going to have a Netflix TV show. Sometime later this year or early next year. Uh, Luke Cage is a black superhero. Yeah, super and strong. He's, yeah, and he's like super strong and he's like indestructible. And it's, it was, I'm, it was funny because everybody told me how good Daredevil was. And I watched, I watched it, but you know, the thing with comic book stuff, like it just gets too far fetched for me. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. But this one, like so far, I only watched like the first two episodes and uh, it seems pretty cool. Um, I'm not a big science fiction guy and like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, All that yeah. kind of stuff. So the comic book stuff really doesn't do it. I like the horror stuff. Is there, All right. You know? It's fucking realistic. You know what no, I mean? No, it's not. <laughs> Jason could Jason happen. goes to That's, space. I guess that Jason... Well, there, come on. Jason goes to space. Yeah. Come it's on. fucking awesome. All the kids alien versus the Predator. Come on. You know, I'm not an alien... I like the original Alien, but Alien versus Predator... It was all right. I guess it was that's all right. No I like Predator. And I'm not a big sci fi guy. There's yeah. no way the Predators could beat the Queen Alien. I'm sorry. I'm a big Alien fan. Sorry. I love the first one, but we start. Yeah, that, uh, the first two Alien movies were yes. maybe two of the best movies ever made, I would, I would say. Yeah, and Sigourney Weaver and fucking underwear is awesome. <laughs> Every movie ever. Sigourney <laughs> and, you know, she's going to strip down to her undies. Yes. Is that it, Frank? What it was? Oh, so go ahead. The star. Here. From our uh, Suicide Squad, she talks about her heavy metal days. You know, she used to dye her hair black, cut her hair with <laughs> razors. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> and they, and I used to metal. dye my hair black. That's really important. Come on, she's fucking young. And she would only uh, listen to the heaviest of heavy metal bands. But yeah, she was a big Slipknot fan and yeah, Metallica. Bullet from my Valentine. That's real fucking heavy. Get the fuck out oh, of here. Jeez, come on. You got to think about age difference Jeez, also. Cut. <laughs> 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 fucking awful. You got to think about age difference too. Like, <laughs> like it's really funny. Like I was talking to, uh, you know, I was talking to Alex last night. Yeah. Um, oh, he's and, uh, he's retarded with music. But he's twenty two years old. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean. Uh, so his music, his music taste is going to be a little bit different. You know what I mean? Come on, you look. Have you spoken to Gregory about his music taste? You would never have heard of any bands that he likes. My point is that you can be young and have taste in music. You don't it's have true. To, like, Crap! You don't have to like disturbed. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. <laughs> but there, you know, but there, but listen, anybody who's into metal, like you, started out into something that was a little light. You know, that somebody else is going to think is cheesy. Like, I mean, well, like, what? Come on, give me some fucking embarrassing bands that you liked. Dude, in 1984, there was no really heavy music. Yeah, I guess that's not. You know what I mean? I was listening to stuff that was considered heavy then, which is not now. Even Venom, I listen to it now, and it's totally light. You know? Yeah. It's not. Light that metal. was really heavy Ooh. back then. Come on, give though. me one embarrassing band that you, you like. Know? Joan Jett. That's not embarrassing. Joan Jett's cool. Pat Benatar. I, I like know. Pat Benatar. Come on, I like pull Pat down Benatar. your pants. Pull down your pants. pants? Pull down your pants. Come on. Let the band fall out. You know what I mean? Oh, I see. You know, I don't know. I liked, I I liked Anthrax. I find that embarrassing now. You really? like that? Yeah. yeah. I find that embarrassing now that I actually was, you know, a stupid teenager that I thought that was 
good music. The riffs are still fucking great. It's just not for me. It's fun. All right. I loved the plasmatics. I saw Wendy Williams at New War and it was so amazing. I still think I based my wardrobe on Wendy Williams. I don't think I ever would have been the woman that I am if I had never seen her or met her because it made me realize you could be a, a chick and just do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, Which in the, the, the 80s, she it really was really wasn't like that. Yeah. She also blew her head off with a shotgun, which is not how women usually kill themselves. Women usually kill themselves with pills or and she did, stick you know, their head in an oven, a car. Yeah, you know? which was kind of crazy. Like, kind of crazy that she actually did. Like, she went from, uh, you know, I just, I've read a thing. Mike, I can't fucking digest anything I read, so I, I don't remember what happened. I think she, she moved to Connecticut or something like that and was... Working in some store. I could have sworn it was California, but I don't know. How old is she? I think it's Connecticut. She uh, yeah. the thirties. She blew early thirties. Seventeen, I think, Frankie. Really? No. I think early No, she was. I think she was. Uh, I think she was like thirty something, wasn't she? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But um. So I, you know, I, I think that. Um, so what were you saying about Alex? I'm sorry that you were talking. No, about well, it, she, listen. It's just an age. Listen, I understand that Kelsey actually has really good t- a taste in music also and movies too she knows a lot of older movies and she's young you know what i mean so i um some people just you know kind of dig in a little bit but i understand why he's got some you know um you know like some lighter stuff that we would think was a little bit cheesy yeah i mean it takes time billy dragged me to go see uh, kill switch engage and i was miserable yeah, and I, he said uh, that was like his gateway into heavier bands, right? Right, because right. of his age, you right. know. So it depends on kind of where where you are on the spectrum. I guess. And I mean, when I was a kid, I mean, it was like Motley Crue and Wasp, and um, you know, I guess some of the I wasn't really into the hair metal thing, but there was some bands like Borderline that you know what I mean that that I know I started getting into, like which got me into heavier music, Twisted Sister, and right, uh, right. you know, bands right. like that that were that were coming out back then, which. Um, I, I guess it, I got I was dating someone who liked a lot of that hair metal and he took me to see Dawkins and Queensryche and oh, it was Operation Mindcrime and I turned around and I was like oh this is terrible and I turned around and he was crying <laughs> during fucking Queensryche I, like, I never oh, liked Queensryche God. I never I mean, liked Queensryche and Iron Maiden and Queen sorry Vin <laughs> but um, I remember Angel and Zebra <laughs> Zebra. It's oh, talking about like glitter rock with the That's hands like a Long Island right? band zebra, right? Yeah. Strong Island. White snake. <laughs> oh, she was 48 when she killed herself. Wow. Why is she 48? Actually, I thought yeah. she was younger. Yeah. She, it wasn't her first suicide attempt. <coughs> Excuse me. She Man. first attempted suicide in 93 by hammering a knife in her chest where it ah. lodged into her sternum. Wow. Jeez. And she call, she changed her mind and called the, her, her man to take her to the hospital. So wow. In 98, she... Um, That's a fucking brutal way to kill yourself. Yeah, she was a brutal chick, man. She was on stage with a chainsaw and, you know, going crazy with sledgehammers and TVs and yeah. shit flying everywhere. You could never do that now. People, like, lose, lose an eyeball <laughs> yeah, the club is closed suit. down. Yeah, so... A Gigi Allen couldn't get away with the shit that he no, did back then literally either. literally, the shit. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, listen, but I think even back then, though, he, he, like, he played a club once and then he wasn't asked back, you know what I mean? So... Oh, but you were right. They had moved to Connecticut. Right. Yeah. See, I digest that, some that shit. That you I, got right. Yeah. And um, I guess he, she wrote him a love letter and had a bunch of things, um, like his favorite noodles, like a package of things for him, and uh, directions of where to find her in the woods. She blew her head off in, in the woods. Oh, Jesus So as not Christ. to make a mess in the house. Uh, well, that was sweet of her. Oh, jeez. That was nice of her. Yeah, but now we had to carry her out of the fucking woods without oh, a head. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, so, you know, that's it. That's, uh, she was cool. But I don't think that, um, because you're young, you have to like shitty music. So, no offense to, uh, that actress. <laughs> <laughs> Full circle. All right, Frankie. Marilyn yeah, Death Fest. Yeah, what's going on? Marilyn Death Fest confirms final 2017 lineup. They, they did. They added some good bands. This is the final round of band announcements. Down You're going right, Melanie? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I always go. Yeah. I always get the tickets during the early stages and don't even wait to see who's playing. Yeah. I just know I'm going to Well, there's go. always good bands on yeah. there, so. It's just fun. I don't yeah. know. They change everything now, though, because they lost the Edison lot. So I, that's going to be 
the parking lot, they yeah. lost it. Oh, that so sucks. So I guess it was not economically feasible to continue to build two giant stages in a parking lot right. over a holiday weekend. So they, they let it go. But that means that they're only holding it in two kind of small venues, which means there's no outside shows anymore, uh, or at least this year, um, next year, excuse me. And that, um, I don't know, I think that's going to turn a lot of people off. People like the outdoor festival kind of feel instead of being trapped inside a club yeah. all day and night. Yeah. But I kind of hated being out in the fucking heat and sun. So I might like it better. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll give you a report. Yeah, you're going to have to let us know. Yeah. Maybe you can bring Frankie with you and you can report from... Yeah, uh, put him on the street. Man yeah, on the street. Man on the street. Yeah. Yes. I'll lose Frankie in Baltimore. It was very, it's very dangerous there. You're right. And Frankie it's might start, not a good idea. And Frankie might buy, go somewhere and start buying crack. So you yeah, might be. <laughs> so we should, that's maybe the worst, one of the worst ideas we've had. So. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's saying a lot. Yeah. Uh, next year, Memorial Day weekend in Baltimore, May 25 to 28. Baltimore, MD. Yeah, there's a final lineup. Uh, Frankie, final lineup of the bands. Do you want to list some of the bands or no? Yes, sure. Candle Mask, Time At. I'm pronouncing anyone wrong. I'm sorry. Grave Root. Grave is fine. Arasani yep. Pazuzu. And How do you Aran pronounce it? Aransi Pazuzu. Aransi Pazuzu. Which sorry. I tried listening to, by the way, which uh, which I, I, I enjoyed. I got to dig a little more. But yes. I, uh, I'm a big fan. Yeah, it's different. Ankaran. Ankaran. Ankaran, sorry. Gosh, T, my Brooklynism. This is a band I cannot pronounce the name. Uh, skip it. Good, try it, Frank. Manaras. S A M O T H R A C E. Skip it, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Brain, fucking invincible. Fucking invincible. Yeah. Organ Dealer. Yes. Junior Bruce. My Zama. Yes. A organ Dealer. Yeah. Flash Out. Flash Out. I don't know. Night Raids. Come on, and hustle with those words, Frankie. And Anchor On Again. Acid King. Oh, yeah. Akron's playing twice. Acid <laughs> King's playing. I like Acid King. Do you? Yeah. Akakok. Akakok, yeah. Autopsy. Grave? Have you ever seen Grave? I've never seen Grave, They're no. Awesome I've never seen him live. Yeah. Um, Autopsy's playing. Yep. Nice. Autopsy. Batushka. I don't know who that is. Grave. Grave's been around for a long time. Not really long time. Yeah. Forever. They're uh, like, Swedish. Right? That, I have like an old... Am I right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, actually, I don't know. I'm saying yes. I'm just actually they're guessing. They're either Swedish or Finnish. I, I have an old Swedish. fucking grave cassette. From, I saw them at. It's gonna uh, be from the fucking. Really? Where the fuck did I see them? I saw them somewhere. Maybe it was BB King's. Is that possible? Hmm. Grave, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's possible. I think it was. BB King's used to do a lot of shows over there. They are Swedish. I was right. Swedish. <laughs> okay, you need... All right, Frank. You don't have to list all the bands. Oh, yeah. We'll be here all day. We had seven. Bird Flesh. It's B. Hexen, which Hexen. I'm very excited about because I love B. Hexen. B. Hexen. Yes. I apologize. B. Hexen, Bird Flesh. Cool, cool name, really. And Cool, cool names playing? <laughs> <laughs> Captain Cleanoff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Good job. A lot of bands. Yeah, there's a whole a lot bunch of bands. bands. You'll have to go take a look at Go to Metal Injection and check yeah, out and yeah. see what's or going on. Or just go to the MDF, Maryland Death Press website. Yeah. What else you got, Frankie? Death Tones makes beer now, too. Oh, jeez, everybody here. <laughs> well, it's, it's always the last thing we're doing is the Deftones and uh, everybody making beer. We did the Skeleton Witch beer, right? We talked about yeah, that? Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. Okay. We did talk about that. Oh. And the rum. Wait, I forgot what band was putting out the rum. Rum, that was uh, Ramstein doing a tequila. Ramstein. Ramstein. Yep. Doing Deftones tequila. makes beer now, too, announces Phantom Bride IPA. Phantom Bride? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have mixed feelings about the Deftones in general, so... Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I like a song here and there when I'm feeling a little rocky, you yeah. know, <laughs> instead of like, sometimes yeah. I like a little, like, I love Muse. Yeah. I like a little rock here and there. Yeah, me too. But um, the Deftones, some of it's a little too fruity, a little too fruity. For me. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I like their earlier albums. I really like their first album when that first album came out, Adrenaline. And then, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not a huge Deftones guy, but I always enjoy them when I... When I see them yeah. or, or or when I hear them, I don't. I'm not like oh, the fucking Deftones. You know what I mean? Right. No, I, I I can I can hang with it. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah. No. So they um, have a beer. 
Yeah, yeah they have a beer coming out. To, I guess these guys are making money with these beers because why is everybody doing it? I think the beers are making money off. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's good promotion for the beer companies. You know what I mean? To have. Uh, but how does that work? Like, the beer company pays them for use of their name? You know, I don't know. Maybe we can inquire about that. Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it says Deftone joining the ranks of Iron Maiden, Motorhead, Megadeth, and many others. And I, I mean, I know Iron Maiden has a say over what the fuck is going out. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, they're like, and from what I know, like, the bands do. Like, they, they, they have they, to have a copy of it, right? At least the name. I don't know if it's the beer itself, the recipe, or the brand. I don't know. I don't really but, you know. know. You I, don't, I don't know. Their name matter. or Ben's name. Or, I could make know, up something label. if you want me to. No, no, no. I don't make it. No? Up. Okay. All right. I was thinking. You think they taste it? Of course they taste it. Yeah. They taste it. Yeah. I mean, before it, it gets released. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Well, like, that's why, you know, when I was talking to, I would talk to Charlie from, from Anthrax, and he said that they kind of, you know, tried a couple different things right. before they found exactly what they right, like. Right, right. And, um, and I know the Scissor Fight beer also it was the same sort of thing. You know what I mean? Like, that they, they said that they, you know, they had, uh, like, they have to agree to the beer that they're putting out. You right, know what I mean? You don't want to put your name on something that, that you don't like. You know? Interesting. Put, put that's something an interesting point to write. like, a band member go to the brewery and, like, say, I, I want to sample this. So it's probably, sending it's some probably notes. like a case-by-case case basis. Like, some bands probably think, hey, I want to put out a beer and get really involved. Yeah. And then other times, maybe it's the brewery that goes, I would love to have this band name on a beer. Yeah. So it's probably levels of... Possible. Involvement, yeah. I would think. It's described as a hoppy West Coast style Indian pale ale. Well, of course, it's West Coast hoppy. Loaded up with mosaic, amarello, and Simcoe, and Citra hops. Yeah, you're right. Rudy. That's a potent beer. <laughs> That's very Rudy. Rudy. <laughs> Rudy. Tooty fucking fruity. The beer is already available in Washington, Oregon, Nevada, Hawaii, and California today. The beer will be sold at uh, at craft beer shops. Are you yawning? Including. I don't drink beer. Femolo, it's boring. Yeah. Also, at, I don't know what he's ra- prattling on about. But, uh, <laughs> October 3rd, it will be in draft. Uh, all right, all right, Frankie. All right. You're putting Melly to sleep, Frankie. <laughs> 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 oh, she's snoring. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, I think we're, wrap, we're uh, about yeah, to... Yeah, we got to wrap that up. You yeah, look like you're going to pass out. I do. I'm I can't, fucking exhausted. I can't wait to get to fucking... To, to lay back down. I got to go teach class. Yeah. yeah. What are you teaching today? Yoga. And then I have a private. Hmm. Yeah. What are you doing in the privates? It depends. Happy ending? No, no happy ending. No? It no. stinks. No happy ending. Why, you were going to book me for a private? No. <laughs> no. I think we discussed this. <laughs> we yeah. all having sex already. Yeah. I mean, you know what, though? If you give me a hand job, I don't think that's like That's, that's not, that's too not weird. You know, yeah. That's weird. You bring that up a lot, so apparently you really want a hand job. <laughs> you have soft hands. I do. Yeah. Yeah. And they're little, so they make my dick look big. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you're a pedophile, so you feel like there's a baby touching yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think we've talked about this already. You're the pedophile. Yeah. Or you're the fucking hemophotophile. I forget what they call <laughs> hemophotophile. it. Hemophotophile. <laughs> That's a, someone that takes pictures of blood. A hemophotophile. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. I know, I just made that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Awesome. A febophile. Right. So a febophilia. <laughs> no, that's what I have. A febophilia. A febophilia. Mm-hmm. With an E. Okay. So you, you don't... Adolescents, not children. Okay. So 18 and up. No. No, 16 and up? <laughs> Something like that. Oh, you fucking weirdo. Are you on a sex offenders list? <laughs> I don't think list? I would bang a 16-year-old. Yeah. Though. Are you on a sex offenders list? Not yet. I think... I haven't uh, caught yet. <laughs> yeah. I think, I, think, uh, I think New York is 17, though, right? New York uh, yeah, is 17. Yeah, so I got to try to keep it legal. Is it an 18? Yeah. Um, oh, I think New York the is 17. The age of consent might be 17. Yeah. In the state. Frankie looks like a baby. No, he doesn't. Put him in a diaper. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> you know what I hate? When right. guys dress up like big baby for Halloween. So Halloween's coming up. You fat guys, don't put the diaper on and come to Lucky 13. Yeah. I will throw you the fuck out of the bar. <laughs> that is all I have to say. We have a really big show coming up on uh, October 29th. I don't have uh, the full lineup yet. We're gonna have, it's our 13th uh, anniversary Halloween party. Yeah. Well, it's our 13th Halloween party. Is it our 13th Halloween party? It's our 13th Halloween party. Our 13th anniversary is coming up also. Yes, so. after that. Yeah, right after that. No. We're 13 years. For January 1st, is 13 years. Really? 14 years, isn't it? 
you know, uh, 2003? 2003. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. My math sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we should have had a big party last year. We totally missed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, listen. We're having a big 13-year so Halloween stupid. party. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> um, on October 29th. And so far, we have um, prostitution. We have... Uh, who's playing? Full scale riot. Full scale riot. Thank mm. you so much. Winter nights and Dracaris. I had another band confirmed, but today they told me that they actually can't do it. So I'm looking for two more bands. If you're interested in getting on there, um, let me know. Send yeah. me a send me a Facebook message. It's Melody Isis Henry on the Facebooks. <laughs> yeah. Um, Frankie's gonna dress up this. Frankie, when are you coming out this year? I haven't decided yet. It'll be a surprise. An alcoholic. Yeah. I'm, I'm every day. <laughs> it's an everyday cat. Costume. He doesn't have to dress up for that. No, nah. he's not. No. I was just trying to make it easy for him. <laughs> Ugh, you're so fucking mean, dude. I'm so sweet. <laughs> so, Melody, uh, the diaper thing's out, right? Diaper thing's out. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Frank in a diaper would be Frank cute Frank in a diaper, shit. big fucking safety pin. Yeah, hilarious. <laughs> what about a bib? Hilarious. Oh, I, I'm right. starting to feel okay? ill. I'm starting yeah. to feel as ill as I did when Jeff was talking about his sex dream earlier, so maybe oh, we should no. call it a day. Oh, okay. come on. You know I get you all, get you all excited. Oh, jeez. All right, everybody. I think we're done for this yeah, week. Yeah, thank God. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have some guests coming up soon. Melody's going away. You're going to be around next week, but not the following week, Correct. right? Um, so we have some guests coming up. We got uh, Chris Santos from Chopped. It's going to be on October 26th. And we're hoping to get some other people before that. So we're going to see what happens, but uh, we got some... Cool people we're going to be interviewing soon, so keep listening, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Yes. Bye. Later. Peace out.